Welcome to the second video for Mutable Instruments Streams. In this video I'll go through the five additional modes in Streams, but you can check out the main four modes in my overview video that's on my channel and linked in the description. The five additional modes are accessed by holding the Mode Select button on the channel. By pressing and holding we go from the four green modes to the five red LED modes. The first mode is a variation on the envelope generator mode. It's an AR envelope instead of an AD envelope. We've got a patch set up from Braids and we've got Peaks modulating Braids' timbre. We've currently got the level up on stream so you can hear the sound of the VCA and the filters open as well. Turning those down and taking a gate to the X site is very much like the AD envelope generator, but there's also a sustain portion as well giving us an ASR attack sustain release. My sequence has got one long note and then four short notes so you can hear the different note lengths affecting the envelopes. So you can hear not only the release increase but also the sustain on the longer note. Going past 12 on the shape knob, the attack increases as well. And the tonal variation here is coming from peaks modulating braids. And you can, like in the other modes and the other video for streams, use the envelope generator as a CV generator rather than just an envelope that affects the onboard VCA and filter. With no input present on streams, 5 volts is patched to the input internally, and then the output becomes the envelope that's generated. Here I'm going to take it to control the cutoff on a ripples filter, the sound is still coming from braids. Sticking in this first additional mode, the AR envelope generator, we can also use this in Siamese twin modes to access more features and link the two channels of streams. This is accessed by pressing and holding both channel buttons together. This could be a stereo patch or just two mono channels, but this accesses extra features which is the attack control on channel 1's shape knob, and then the release and sustain control on the second channel's shape knob. We can change the curve with the exponential to linear knob. There's still the filter modulation and the option to offset the VCA levels as well. This is the second additional mode which is a variant on the Vactral emulation. Everything that goes into the Excite input in this mode becomes a short trigger. This is like the strike inputs on a Make Noise Optimix, where you can strike and ping a Vactral with a short pluck. We've got the shape knob controlling the ring of that Vactral. The mod controls the amount of filter modulation. Leaving that wide open we can just affect the VCA level. You can fine tune and change the envelope curve as well. So there's a nice additional pluck struck or pinged Vactral emulator as well as the standard Vactral emulation mode. Taking my sound into a Maleco VCA, this is the same patch as the previous part of the video and streams is in the additional Vactral strike mode. With no input present on streams we can use the output as a CV source and we get the envelope generated by striking this Vactral and we get the actual Vactral's response curve as an envelope to patch out elsewhere in the module. This is the third additional mode called a cutoff controller in the manual which just looks at and follows the harmonic content and frequency content at the Excite input rather than looking at the amplitude of the incoming wave. I have the signal going into the Excite input split into a mixer so you can hear that as well and here's the loop that I'm going to be running into Streams' Excite input. So 
you can hear a mix of low percussion hits and then the higher shakers and different percussion parts with those higher frequency harmonics in the loop. Turning up my sound that I've got coming from streams is the vowel mode from braids. And then adding that loop into the excite input, here's a sound. You can control streams on board filter with a mod knob. The shape knob allows you to slew and go from a fast and accurate following of that excite input to a more slewed and more sort of bendy version of that with more attack and release. Turning up the loop in the mixer as well, this should then piece together and be a bit easier to follow what's actually happening. With no input present on streams, we can still use this to produce a CV signal. Taking my streams output to braids, which is providing the vowel sound, and then going to use streams' output to modulate braids' timbre. So here's the sound of the loop that's going into the Excite again. And you can access extra features for the attack and release, and link the two channels in Siamese Twins mode as well. Here's a sound I'm going to be using with a fourth additional mode, which is a softer and slower compressor. There's noise and room reverb in the loop, which is going to get pulled around by the compression. The controls are the same as the normal compression mode, the mode 4 with a green LED. The shape knob is the threshold control. The mod knob has no effect in its middle position at 12 o'clock, but turning that left increases the compression ratio. Turning that to the right, it increases the compression ratio and the makeup gain. The level mod, as with other modes, is a VCA level offset. And it's advised, like the other compression mode, to leave the curve control set to exponential to give the gain structure needed for the compression. So the difference comparing the two compressor modes is that this one's got a softer knee and a longer attack setting. Taking the ratio all the way up, I'll then lower the threshold. I'm going to add some level offset to compensate for the gain reduction. And as you can hear, it's a great compressor for drums, creating that fat pumping compression on this drum brake. And it's pulling the noise and room reverb around really nicely as well. Backing off the ratio and threshold, we can get much smoother compression. Or just max it out and go for something more full on. Taking the level down, I'm going to move the mod knob to the right, which will also increase the ratio, like going left, but also increase the makeup gain, giving a much smoother sounding change with the threshold as the overall output level is kept constant. I'm still in the extra compression mode, and this time I've got a bass sequence coming into Streams' input. I'm going to look at using the sidechain input, and with a slower attack and softer knee, this works well for more audible and longer sidechain effects in comparison to the first compressor mode, which is a bit more precise. The sound is coming from braids, and I've got peaks providing the envelopes for the patch. The sequence is moving at 16th notes with regards to my main clock, and I'm going to add a quarter note clock to a kick drum and then use that as a sidechain input. Here's the kick drum mixed in streams' output. And I'll just soften that sound again. Here's the fifth and final additional mode, which is direct control of the analog filter in streams. The level, as always, works to control the VCA offset, so we'll have to turn that up to hear anything. The shape knob acts as a cutoff control for the filter. <laughs> 
and I've got a nice rich chord sound coming into streams from Brave. The Excite input here is a CV input for the filter and the Mod Knob is a CV attenuverter. Through the video I've looked at using channels on their own and then linking those channels in Siamese Twins mode, but I'll look at using the two channels independently. Channel 2 here will be used to modulate channel 1. So on channel 2 I'm in envelope generator mode and I'm going to take a trigger into the Excite input to generate the envelope. Taking channel 2's output into channel 1's Excite input, I'll then use that envelope generated on channel 2 to open up the filter on channel 1. Changing the curve on channel 2, we can change the envelope shape. You can affect the VCA level with a direct level input and change the response curve on the channels as well. So that's it for the additional modes in streams. Check out my overview on my channel for the first main four modes of streams. There's also videos for clouds, elements and shells on my page as well. Hit like and subscribe for more videos every week.